What's going on guys, Josh Polkalk here. Now we've been covering many different AI pair programmers recently. We've been covering Winsor, Sourcebook, V0, Cursor, Data Button, Lovable, Klein, Continue.dev, the list goes on and on. Now currently we have about three main different categories. We have tools like Sourcebook and Lovable and Bolt.new where they're in browser AI pair programming tools. We have tools like WinSurf, Cursor, Aid, where they're IDE pair programmer tools. And then we have some tools such as continue.dev, Klein, and a bunch of these other tools that are basically extensions that can work within VS Code or really any other VS Code fork, like Cursor, whatever the case may be. And I know personally that a lot of you guys really, really like Klein. So we're actually going to be taking a look at an alternative extension AI pair programmer tool today in this video. This tool is called Kodu.ai, meet your AI coding superpower. We're going to dive into it, show you how you can get started with this tool for free $10 uh, in credits and hopefully build some pretty cool stuff. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so all links I cover will be linked down below. Um, here is Kodu's website, Develop at the Speed of Thought. So you can see the different features, AI Powered Assistant, Kodu Cloud, which is in beta. So access cutting edge AI tools to supercharge your business. We'll check this out in just a second. Idea to prototype coming soon. So it's good that they're developing this. You can see there's a wait list here. Rapid MVP development, um, share prototypes where open source. So Kodu AI is building on the principles of openness and collaboration from our thriving community of developers. So I'm actually just looking at the GitHub here. And one thing that's pretty interesting, first of all, this tool is actually called, well, it's called Kodu, but it's also called Claude Coder. So they actually changed the name to Claude Coder, um, which, you know, if you guys know about Klein, it was called Claude Dev. All right. So very kind of similar name here. You can see Kodu is an autonomous coding agent that lives in your IDE. It's a VS Code extension, leveraging the latest technologies. And once we dive into it in just a second, you'll see that it does have some similarities to Klein. And funny enough, as you can see here with the tr contributors, we actually have the founder of Claude Dev or Klein, who is one of the top contributors here. If you go to his profile, you can see that we have Klein right here. If you didn't know, he is the founder of Klein. So pretty interesting stuff. I don't know specifically who is like the behind Kodu, if it is him or, you know, if he's a part of the company or if he's just a contributor or whatever the case may be. But um, yeah, it, that is kind of interesting to see. As you can see even here, a big shout out to the amazing projects and people that inspired Claude Coder. We have Aider for innovation, blah, blah, blah. And then especially, okay, so here for laying the foundation. So they are giving him a huge shout out right here from Claude Dev, so for laying the foundation. So um, yeah, I guess he's probably not a part of Kodu, but you know, they're just saying that he re they really, you know, took inspiration from Claude Dev, which, you know, it's, it's good to see that they are giving credit to um, their inspiration. You know, in this AI coding AI space in general, you'll see so many tools that are forks of forks of forks. And yeah, it's good to see that, you know, at least they're giving uh, credit. All right, so here's what Claude Coder can do for you. Idea to implementation. Design to reality, intuitive debugging, accelerate development, learn to grow, search the web. So this is actually pretty cool that they have this. Take inspiration from existing content or ask Claude to do its own research to adapt his knowledge for your meetings. And then deploy and publish so Claude can help you publish your project online using existing tools without breaking your head how to get your awesome project online. So there's a video here you could watch to see it in action. And to get started, you can see here, install VS Code extension. So you can go to this link, install it, or you can just go to VS Code or Cursor or wherever, you know, even Windsurf uh, if you want, um, but you know, whatever IDE you're using, and then click the puzzle piece to search for extension, search for Claude Coder, and then install. Okay, so as you can see here, I now have Coder by Kodu.ai installed in my VS Code. You can go here, we can see, you know, our previous tasks, our recent tasks, What's my code base about? Um, we can see tokens, so up and down, API costs right here, view all history. So you can type your task, use at to mention files, folders, or URLs. You can add images too. Here is a new task up here. Here is your history. Here is open in editor, and then here is settings. All right, if you go to your settings here, there'll be a spot up here that says sign in with Kodu. 
what you're gonna have to do is click on that it will take you over to kodu you can create an account once you create an account it's going to give you ten dollars of free credits now this is the one thing i personally do not like about kodu uh compared to something like claw dev or klein where klein it allows it's very flexible you can add multiple different llms you can add your own api keys but for kodu it's sim more similar to something maybe like um windsurf but it's even different you know it's based on credits it's not based on like ten dollars a month or whatever um like with windsurf you can't put in your own api keys Cloud coder or kodu you know you can't do that either which kind of sucks to be honest but you do get ten dollars of free credit so it may be worth testing out and it does have some pretty cool features nonetheless so we will go over some of those now over here in advanced we have some different options you can check some of these out you can see your custom instructions here you can choose your system prompt variant so we can see different ones that we have right here out of box we also have experimental stuff right here so we have automatic mode continue generation auto summarize chat one click deployment so deploy your projects with a single click and then we have preferences so you can select your technical level so whether you're non-technical coding beginner uh, experienced developer um, you can choose your ai model here so pretty much you can do any um any of the main quad models anthropic models hence the name quad coder you can't use open ai or anything like that and you can't use local models which isn't you know my favorite i like when there's a lot more customization even though still i mostly always just use quad 3.5 sonnet regardless so once you select your model you can see the specs of the model right here so we have max tokens context window supports images yes supports prompt cache yes recommended hard worker we can see browser model so this is used for web searches so you can either use Claude 3 Haiku here, or you can use Claude 3.5 Sonnet. All right, they also have a Discord channel too. So if you do ever, if you are using this tool and you do need some help, you can check out the Discord. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and upload an image here. All right, so here I have a picture of Asana. It is a project management, task management platform here. So we're gonna say, create an app like this. All right, so I'm saying create a project management slash task management application that looks like this, the screenshot. Make it modern and beautiful. We're going to go ahead and send that. All right. So as you can see here, we got our task right here. We can see that we have in, out. So all the statistics here, we have cash. We have cost right here. So as you can see, these numbers are starting to go up. Um, so we can see our cost. And we can also see memory right here. So they have uh, 6% full of memory right here. So this is a nice interface. As you can see, our credits remaining right here request complete so let's create a modern task management app here's what we're going to do we want a sidebar a main content modern ui a clean uh, professional color scheme blah 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 so here we're going to run the command uh, npm create v at latest task management template react so now we're going to run command so as you can see this is kind of similar to like how klein kind of looks like when you're building out an interface all right, so I do really like that it um, can run terminal commands like so. We can go here, ahead uh, here and click on view output to see the output right here. Okay, so now it ran that terminal command and it picked up that it is complete now. So now it's making another request. Now that the React project is created, let's install the necessary dependencies for styling and icons, set up the project structure, install the dependencies first, uh, then create our components. So we're going to run this command here. Now, like I showed you, there are options in the settings where you can turn on auto mode and different things like that. But right now, we're just running it normally with our manual approval. Okay, so now it, that is installed. Let's go ahead and run this next command here. Okay, so it's smart enough to CD into the task management app, make directory source components, sidebar, task list, source task list, components header, and layouts and styles right here. Okay, so now it's creating the theme configuration. Start with the main layout component. We'll use MUI's theme system for consistent styling across the application. Let's go ahead and save that. We can see right to file here. So we can see the diffs right here, which is similar to like how something like Klein's looks typically when it's doing diffs. Um, we can go ahead and save. Taking another request and just like how we can with Klein, we can see the request cost for each request. If we hover over it, we can see the price breakdown. So input cash write, input cash read, output tokens, input tokens, total cost. 
So currently I'm just letting it do its thing here. I'm literally just pretty much accepting every single request as it's going through this. And as you can see, it's pretty good at being um, an autonomous system that is, you know, going throughout this task end to end here, which is something that I do really like. And I do really like this interface, even though it is similar to Klein's. Okay, so now we can see that it is requesting to start the development server here. So it's going to run npm run dev. We're going to do so. Server is starting here. All right, so now we can go to port 5173 and we can see that we got our app here called Taskflow. And we built mm, kind of a lot of different task uh, manager apps with AI coders before. Pretty much by default, it seems like all of them name it Taskflow here. Now, I would say this isn't the best one that we've seen um, out of box right here, but it's not bad by any means. We can see we have a checkbox check box here, items. Um, we can add tasks here. None of it is functional, so I can tell it to add some functionality here in just a second. Now it is saying the development server is ready, but we are uh, need to remove the app.css since we're using material UI for styling, and we should check if there are any errors in the browser. Let's remove this and then import it. So we're going to run that command. All right, so as we can see here, now it is saying that the task is complete, task completion, I've created this, and it's giving out all the different things that it created here. The application is running. Now we can go ahead and click on start new task. Now, if you go ahead and click at here, you can select files or folders, and you can also paste URL to scrape or debug. I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna say make the add new task button functional and add some of the sidebar menu items as well. Uh, to go to new pages okay so after a few minutes you can see now that task is complete and if we go ahead check this out we can click on add task now go ahead type test select our priority due date we can add task and now we can see that task is right here okay if we go to portfolio we can see our different portfolios here okay obviously you could add more functionality we can see inbox here um, and my tasks and then home okay so pretty straightforward stuff guys but all in all i do think the experience of this cloud coder is pretty good kodu.ai i personally don't like the credit feature i that that alone would probably be personally a deal breaker for me to continuously use this regardless i'm still obviously a fan personally on like the ai ides such as cursor windsurf i think klein's really good too in terms of the extension side of things and all in all guys let me know what your thoughts are down below in terms of what is your favorite ai pair programmer have you tried kodu.ai out or claude coder if so what do you think are you going to be using it or are you just going to test it out with the ten dollar plan personally i probably won't use it unless maybe they get you know improvements on it maybe remove that whole credit feature other than that guys if you're new to this channel we upload videos all the time on ai marketing sales business growth ai coding whatever the case may be so if you like that type of content you got some value here make sure to like the video comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads also too guys if you haven't already joined our free facebook group and discord channel check out stridecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below and then also too guys i just made a new community the stride ai academy so i'm slowly uh admitting different members i know some of you have been requesting to join so so check out the link down below to join it there is going to be a bunch of free resources free content courses etc in this community it's going to be jam-packed as well as you can network with myself as well as other like-minded individuals ai enthusiasts entrepreneurs etc it's still very new so i still am recording a lot of the content here a lot of it is incoming soon but you can go ahead join right now right now it is free but there may be a price tag in the future so join while you still can other than that guys if you do run a business and you need help with your systems marketing sales operations implementing ai ai appointment setters ai call center into your business book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply other than that guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock no more wasted time on training no more frustration with performance and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers introducing stride agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 
never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents.